Right, we're on. This morning is miserable. Look at this. Very, very wet this morning, but we're not going to let that bother us. We're going to work on pivot today. We're going to talk about how the body turns in the golf swing, keeping it as simple as possible. It's all hands and arms. Well, it shouldn't be. It should be body turning, and today that's what we're talking about. What a miserable morning. Look at that. Horrible. So pivot in the golf swing, what's pivot? Pivot is the rotating rotation of the body within the stance. So if we can turn the body within our stance, we can pivot. Sounds reasonable. I'm pretty sure I could do that somehow. So in order to do that, what has to happen? What has to happen to get the body to work instead of the hands and arms? Hands and arms working is fine, it changes path and things like that, it, it can be functional but you're not going to get the most out of your golf swing. If we can power the body, all these large muscles, to make the little golf club hit the little golf ball, it's going to be much more efficient. I use that word efficient far too often. Far too efficient. <laughs> so pivot, body turn, body turn, that sounds easy. Body turn, body turn. Strikes good, ball goes far, less effort's put in. You'll find that less effort's put in once you start turning the body. The hands and arms, your smaller muscles, once you start using them a lot, becomes tiring. Once we get the big muscles to turn and turn, these bits just fall into place. So to get the body to work, what do we do? Well, people talking about body working in the golf swing, they immediately go torso, shoulders, upper body has to turn, course it has to turn, absolutely. But that's not what we're talking here about getting the pivot working. Pivot for me is from here, up to here. Okay, so if we can work on what the hips do, that's going to have a, the byproduct of that is what the hand, the shoulders, and the chest going to do, and therefore the arms, hands, grip, shaft, club head, sweet spots going to do, all from trying to get the hips to do their thing. Well, that sounds different, doesn't it? These irons are outstanding. So we're going to focus on the hips, the groin area. I take my address position. Okay. There we go classic address position. From there, my first movement of the golf swing is my right arm, my right wrist bends, which puts me into a straight line. Then from there, this is the important part, the right hip withdraws. So if I withdraw my right hip, take my right hip back, okay, I'm just pulling my hip back, I'm not trying to move my hands and arms, I'm not trying to move my shoulders, hip back, as far as it can go, that's good. That's as far as it can go just now. Dynamically, when we're hitting the golf ball, it'll probably go further. But from this position here, I've withdrawn my right hip, kept the right flex on my right knee, withdraw my right hip. Then from there, I withdraw my left hip, and body turns. Okay? That all sounds very simple. So I'm basically, with, with, blah, 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 blah. So I'm basically withdrawing right hip, withdrawing left hip. Okay? Take my dress position, withdraw right hip, withdraw left hip. Okay? Right hip back, left back. There's a wee bit more to it than that. If we just purely lift, withdraw the left hip on the way down, we're going to come over the top, so we need to think about this. So address position. Right hip withdrawn. Left hip withdrawn. Body turns. This section here is what I'm thinking about. Okay? Right hip, left hip. Now, to prevent that over the top happening, because yes, if we withdraw the right hip, and then the left hip, there's a chance we're going to do this fashion, we're going to get a high right shoulder. So we need to keep that left shoulder, sorry, that right shoulder down. Don't know my left and my right this morning. I think the rain's going off though. Certainly getting brighter. So let's take a dress position. Yeah, this is a fact, this is the drill we're going to do, okay? This is what's going to make you feel as though the body's working as opposed to the hands and arms. It's also going to keep the right shoulder low, so therefore we can turn through towards target. Golf club, behind your back, under your arms. Simple. Okay, hands on chest. Now, I'm in my dress position, my hands and ar arms out of the equation, obviously. I'm going to withdraw right hip. And you can see that all I've done there is try to pull my right hip. You can get something behind you, pull your pocket. I've withdrawn the right hip as far as I can. And what that's done is, you can see it's almost given me a full shoulder turn. My right shoulder's disappeared behind my head, almost given me a full shoulder turn. Then from there, we want to feel as though my right shoulder goes down, so I've withdrawn right hip. Right shoulder, if I put my right shoulder down, watch what happens to my left hip. 
my left hip starts to moving towards the target. So there's a lateral shift there, axis tilt, my left hip starts going towards target. Do that again. Withdraw right hip, lower right shoulder, withdraw left hip. Keeps the right shoulder low through impact to stop this over the top action. Withdraw right hip, lower right shoulder, which moves the left hip towards target, then withdraw left hip. Okay, right hip, right shoulder, left hip. See the drive? Ground force I'm starting to use now. Right hip, right shoulder, left hip. See what's going on? So now I'm starting to get a bit of push off the right onto the left. My mass now, because I'm using my hips, not my chest, not my legs, not my hands, not my arms, I'm focusing fully on my hips. My head, which weighs 18 pounds, on a good day, that 18 pound mass moves a little bit behind the golf ball because I've withdrawn the right hip. I actually like to try and keep it on top. So I'm there, and then I get right shoulder goes down, and then from there, I can now get my left hip out of the way, so therefore my mass, my head, my body, everything starts to move towards target. So there's a lot of pivot, a lot of rotation there, from really concentrating on this section here. That's the drill, just do that a lot of times to try and feel that, down the line. Right, take right hip back, from there. You can see about shoulder turn I've got, chest point towards camera. And then from there, right shoulder goes down, so my left hip's been bumped forward, left hip out of the way. Hip hip hooray, that could be the name of this drill. That's poor, that is poor. Right, okay, dress position. What about the golf ball? Let's get a feel for it first. Good, withdraw right hip, right shoulder down, left hip. I really feel myself getting pushed off the ground, I'm using the ground forces. I can feel it through my feet, but it's actually my hips I'm focusing on. Like that. Same idea. A pause at the top helps. Yeah, that's good. That's really good. There's a lot of rotation, clearly. So we're getting the hips to drive the golf swing, so we're getting the large muscles to move the small muscles instead of just standing there and having no turn, using hands and arms and cutting across and paths going left, balls going right. Maybe we can get Darren Clark, who's great at this. Darren is very... Turn. Turn. It's good again. you got to make sure though when you do this that there used to be a lot of chat back in the day that your hips would not turn and just fully shoulder turn. I think macro there was a lot of that going on, so there was a lot of torque that his hips never moved, but his shoulders moved. These guys are athletes. We want to get the hips to turn to allow the, the, the body to do its thing. So, but try and keep your feet flat on the ground. Don't do this to try and get your left, your right hip to withdraw. Keep that left foot on the ground and just try and do it within your stance. Remember the pivots within your stance. So right hip withdrawn, right shoulder down, left hip withdrawn. Two best players at this were Darren Clark was very good at it. Lee Westwood. Watch Westy, Westy's back and he's very much down and through. There. Good. Ladies and gents, give that a try. Right hip, right shoulder, left hip. Tell me how it goes. If you have success or you fail with this, please just leave comments below so I can try and get back to you, try and help you out. Um, if you've not subscribed to the channel already, please do so, it's free of charge. And thank you for watching. Thank you.